And at Flat Creek, the nurses, there were two nurses who lived in the center that you've just seen. They had arranged with their parents to inoculate the children against uh, typhoid fever at that time. They also had smallpox. There was a lot of smallpox and diphtheria. So that the nurse had talked to the families and arranged to meet at the schoolhouse and inoculate them. Inoculations had not been heard of before. And the school teacher herself came out of the schoolhouse door and said, you can't go on with this. This is cruel. tried to talk the children to saying they don't want to be inoculated, do you? It hurts. Well, the children were hesitant, and they said no. The little boy said, I'll be second if somebody else will be first. And then the strong young father comes around and says, I'll be first. And the little boy followed him. The boy has since grown up to be a doctor in Western Kentucky. Made a very good life for himself. People have capacity, they are intelligent, and many of them have gone outside, and they've been in higher education at Berea and other places, and I'm glad to say that many have gone back. Some of them work as our secretaries, others have become nurses, and some are serving on our board of governors. Hmm?